Is mercury toxic? Elemental mercury is toxic. Silver amalgam fillings, does it contain mercury? It does. Almost up to 50 percent? Yes. Mercury is a toxic substance. A lot of us have dental amalgams that contain mercury. And anywhere from 4 to 19 micrograms of mercury per day can leach out of your amalgams into your body. A single filling delivers micrograms of mercury, which in mercury terms is a lot. Mercury is vaporizing from the amalgams, and you have 80% absorption through the lungs. This is a fairly dangerous scenario. You put what in my mouth? Exposes the negligence of dentists as they disregard manufacturer warnings and occupational safety regulations. This documentary investigates the effects of dental mercury on patients, staff, and the environment. When dentists go to dental school, they're taught that mixed dental amalgam is completely inert. The amount of mercury vapor that's released from amalgam restorations is so minute. And so when a dentist goes in to grind out an amalgam filling, he is creating tremendous quantities of mercury particulate. Their dental drill runs at about 400,000 RPM and it sends a shower of micron size and submicron size particles everywhere. It's tens of thousands of parts per million. Everyone working around hazardous chemicals and other toxic substances has a right to know of possible dangers and how to protect themselves. If you're exposed to mercury, we start seeing much more serious health effects. Uh, these health effects would be Chronic fatigue, double vision. Couldn't sleep. Depression. Panic attacks. Memory loss. A lowered immune system. Loss of vision. Chronic headaches. I was just so mentally confused and physically ill at the same time. It is both an immediate problem in some individuals and a very long-term problem in others. I started having neurological symptoms. I didn't feel like a human being. In the deepest part of myself, I thought I was dying. People think you're crazy, and, and you're not crazy. You have mercury poisoning. Two schools will be closed tomorrow after a custodian finds a small amount of mercury on the floor of a room at Hickman Mills High School. Now, how much mercury are we talking about? Not very much. About the amount the size of the eraser on this pencil. But school officials explained to us it would only take the amount of mercury about the size of the sharpened end of this pencil to contaminate the entire building. A toxin that can do the effect, you have it placed within inches of your brain. They've never done any safety studies on this product. Why is it that the ADIA will not tell the public that mercury amalgam is harmful? Frankly, the American Dental Association welcomes uh, new looks at, at all of the dental restorative materials. The American people are being overtly lied to by the American Dental Association and the dental branch of the Food and Drug Administration.